Hello Dayton, welcome to Everything Dayton. I'm your host Keith Irving and today I've got a special uh, guest in my studio. I got Mr. Cortez Jackson. He's doing a play coming up here in September. Mama knows a lot, but grandma knows everything. It's coming to the Dayton Convention Center, September 15th. Look for it, but right now, Mr. Cortez Jackson, what's up? Hey, hey, how you, how you doing, doing, brother? brother? How are you? All right. It's Good. been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, yeah. How's everything going? <laughs> Everything's everything, man. All so, right. So tell us about this play. How did it uh, come about with you? Well, the play is something that I wrote about seven years ago. I started in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I wrote it in, uh, in reference to my grandmother. And uh, it tells the story basically about my life story. Everyone in the, uh, all the characters are part of my life. Uh, they play certain parts of my life, my, my grandmother, my mother, my brothers and my sisters, my aunt, um, everyone that, uh, is, that is a character plays a certain part of the play. And it tells a story about the ups and downs about family. And we hope that, that everybody can kind of get into it. Um, when you see certain parts, we hope that you be able to sit back and say, that happened to me. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And that's basically I know that what person. the play is all about. Yeah, now not all your uh, characters in this play is, uh, are family. So like my mm -hmm. role, I'm you know, I'm playing peanut butter. Now now, what's this peanut butter about? Well, peanut butter was a, <laughs> he was a character that we had back home. You know, everybody has one. You know, he was one of those street hustlers. You know, he's always trying to figure out a way to make money. Mm -hmm. So him and my brother, now my brother, my brother was like a, a little hustler too. You know, they never sold anything illegally. Right. Everything they did, they did illegally. You know, my brother started out as a, as a, a kid going to the grocery markets and, uh, you know, carrying people's groceries. Mm -hmm. So him and his friend, you know, they, they that's what they did. You know, me, I ain't, I, I ain't do no, God it. wasn't, I ain't carrying <laughs> nobody's groceries. I wasn't doing that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, it's, I wanted to be a, a ball player. That's what I really wanted okay. to be. Okay, basket or base? Well, I wanted to, I love basketball, but I ain't grow big enough. I like football, I didn't get heavy enough. Right. <laughs> I played baseball, and I was okay with the baseball thing, but, you know, it was, it was a lot of work. Oh, yeah. You know, my grandfather, you know, he had a baseball team, so I kind of played on his baseball team. <laughs> but um, didn't didn't make it as a ball player. Okay. You know, but um, I remember watching the old movies back in the day, like um, Step and Fletcher and all them kind of people. Right, you know? right. And I love Red Skelton. You know, I, I used to, Ed Sullivan, all them kind of shows, I used to love them. Mm -hmm. And I always said I wanted to be a... a an actor. Okay, so I wanted to be a cowboy one time. Oh. John John Wayne was the John cowboy. Wayne was taken. Yeah, yeah. Good life. But you know, I, I couldn't do the Duke thing. You know? I was gonna say you uh, you did a little acting uh, yeah, back yeah, in the fifties, yeah. forties, was Oh, it? Yeah, that's all that we got. <laughs> that's a little too far back. A little that's far back, I think. A little too far back. No, but you yeah, you said you did some acting and. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, uh, well, I actually started out as a, a fashion model. You, if you could believe it or not. <laughs> I'm no, really. I yeah. mean, that's, that's, you know, that was my first thing that I really enjoyed doing was modeling. Because mm -hmm. I used to love to dress up. But see, the thing about my modeling was, uh, I, you know, I couldn't do runway modeling because I wasn't tall enough. Right. So what I used to do was I used to put choreography into my modeling. So I would do stuff like, if I see a movie like I'm in one time and, and I have a young man that's in the play that's playing one of the roles that I always wanted to do. 
my man Billy D. Williams. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you'll meet him yeah. in a little bit. Yeah, when he when he did Lady Sings the Blues. Yeah, You know, when exactly. he did that number, mm -hmm. he my arm to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, right. I put that in the fashion show. Seriously, did I, put you really? a, I put a table out in the middle of the floor. I sat at the table with a white suit on. Listen, now you're gonna make me do a flashback picture of you on the screen. <laughs> oh, you seen that one, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, got it, yeah. yeah. I'll flash and, it out uh, to you. Yeah, so, you know, I, I did that when, I, uh, when Dracula came out. You remember when Dracula was big? Man, uh, I'm the, only I, 29 years old. Oh, that's all you are. <laughs> <laughs> 29. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I did something with him. You know, so, I, uh, but that was my big thing with right. modeling, because I used to love the dress. And I have a young man that's going to be in the play, and when I seen him, I knew who I knew I want him to be the, the rich husband mm -hmm. because I loved his style. Right. I loved the way he dressed. GQ. You know, and I, oh man, wait till you see him. Oh yeah. Wait till you hit yeah, that we're flow. Gonna, we're gonna do a model. <laughs> we're gonna get him up flow, in front flow. of the camera, do a little <laughs> model for you, back there <laughs> hiding. We when, when, coming. When, when he hit that flow that night on the stage, Lord Emmers, I can hear him now. Oh, Billy. <laughs> 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 but, uh, oh, yeah. you know, I got some terrific actors, man. Um, you know, I, I love all of them. You know, they're hard workers and they all portraying what it is that I'm looking for. So, yeah. won't you go well, around? Well, we got them here. Hey, we, well, okay, first we're, we're going to, I guess we'll introduce the, uh, the woman in charge of the show. All right, tell them your name, tell them. Good evening. My name is Wilma Thornton, and I'm a uh, manager, and I'm working with uh, Cortez <laughs> Jackson Jr. <Amen. laughs> with the play Mama uh, Knows a Lot, but Grandma Knows Everything. So I, I pretty much is doing the lead work and, and the paperwork and all, all the necessity to, to make sure that everything is yeah, running proper. Now, this your first run with Cortez, or have you, did you do his last, which I meant to ask you, I know you've done like four shows. Or yeah, or, no, this is, this is the first know. time she actually, I mean, she did help out a little bit uh, at the last uh, play that we had, but right. well, now she's, she's in charge of it. She's in charge of it. I gotta go to her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you know, it has really been a pleasure doing this because it, it's teaching me a lot yeah. uh, in, in the business aspects of it. So, uh, and plus working with each and every last one of the cast members, <laughs> it, it just put a smile on my face because I know that this is going to be outstanding. Yeah, it's going to be a great and, time. Uh, yes. So I'm looking forward to all the work that we have put in. All right. All right. And next. I thank God for her. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, she, look. she works really hard. Yes, she does. She really does. And she puts up with him, so you yeah. know. Hey. He can, he, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to cut that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll edit it for you. <laughs> Pastor Greer. Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Greer. I'll be the MC for the show. All right. That that that's all you got. No, he does. Me, he did more me, than that. He does me and Pastor more Greer than go that. way back. We go back to childhood. Actually, yes, he sir. Uh, good friends. I uh, lived across the street from my grandmother, so every yes, time we go over there. We'd be running across the street to his house, or he'd be over in my grandmother's house playing around for, for, for many, many years. Well, I'm 29, so you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps yeah. he, he keep throwing the age. I'm just saying. I'm, yeah, saying, I'm trying to get the, Me and family, so <laughs> but, uh, we've hung out for a few years here and there, but uh, whatever they needed me to do, I mean, right, uh, yeah. that's why I'm here. He has helped a lot. I mean, he sits in, and he'll, he'll read scripts for actors that couldn't make the rehearsals. <laughs> So he, he pretty much knows the whole play, yes, <laughs> whole play by now, so. Amen. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's a pleasure. I, I am so glad that, you know, you decided to hang in there with us. I mean, you, all, all your hard work, man, is not going in vain. And I really appreciate you. Hey, we appreciate hey, we, you. We, we thank you, Elder Jackson. I appreciate anything that you want me to do or need me to do. That's why we're here, to, to make sure that it works. That's right. Thank you. Elder Brooks. Book, Brooks. Pastor Brooks. Brooks. What did I say? Books? Books. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going since 7 o'clock, people. You don't have to excuse me on Sunday. <laughs> Pastor, get it right. 
Amen. <laughs> yeah, they got me labeled that way. They got me labeled as Pastor Get It Right, but I'm excited for the family. I love them all, and uh, I they kind of rough on me, but <laughs> you know they 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 just don't understand yet. Right. You know they haven't uh, got as far as I got, so I. I, I, I pray for them. I pray for them. And I stay with, you know, I don't care what they say. Right. Uh, I'm going to keep praying for them because I love the family. You can tell he's a hardworking man. He's got his script right there with him. <laughs> Have you ever, you, this your first time acting? or the, So this is all new to you, right? Well, it's not really new because I've been in a play before. Oh, you have? Yeah, I was oh, in a okay. play. I was in a play in New York. It was it, it was a Christian play uh, called Rapture Left Behind. Okay. Yeah, I played the Antichrist. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know. So you know a little you know, bit of something, something. I know. Okay. I know. I know a little well, bit. Well, peanut butter out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. 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 I, I played that the, the Antichrist, and it's a big, it's a big change from the Antichrist to the pastor. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to have this part. You know, now at least I got out of the Antichrist yeah. system. <laughs> We're glad to have you. Nosey Shirley. Hey, what's up, Peanut Butter? <laughs> um, I'm Cheryl Freedom Johnson. I play Nosey Shirley, Olivia's best friend. Um, wow. Uh, I've done a show with you before, Comedy Ain't Easy, yep. with Keith yeah, and Brock yeah. Shank. Hey, Little Brock. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. yeah <laughs> um, I've been doing theater for many years. Yeah, you uh, you went L.A. and you went big time. Yeah, yeah I uh, studied. Your... I uh, studied up under uh, Marla Gibbs Crossroads School mm -hmm. when I moved out there many years ago. What, twenty nine years ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, that's uh, it. Yeah, that's it. I uh, I also do stand up comedy. Okay, yeah, now that's new to you. Yeah, yeah. that is. Um, about two years now, mm -hmm. two year anniversary uh, this month, out. yeah. And you really inspired me yeah. because uh, you went out on your 29th birthday <laughs> and decided <laughs> you wanted to try stand up comedy mm -hmm. and been doing very well Five ever since. Later, Got your yeah. shows, yeah, you know put me on, put us there down. You go. <laughs> and so that really inspired me to do the same uh -huh. because I had been wanting to do it forever. Right. So. So, are you excited about the play? And oh, you guys, it is going to be fabulous. Yeah. So funny. I really think. Yes, I do too, and I'm so excited, and I am so happy to be playing Nosy Shirley. Thank you so much, Cortez Jackson. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Auntie. Well, hello. My name is Joyce Filer. I'm playing Auntie to the mistress of the Green family, who is yet to be introduced to their their new right. daughter. We, we don't give too much away. You want yes. to come check it out. It's so a little suspense for them. I'm, I'm pleased to be a part of this production. It's a, it's a great play, and I'm looking forward to continuing on and for the, the, the date of the play on September the 15th. All right, all right. And you way down here. We got Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnny. Johnny, can you see him um, back there? Yes, uh, my name is Richard L. Davis. I uh, uh, played the deadbeat dad. <laughs> yeah, my dad wasn't no deadbeat dad. <laughs> well, but that'd be that my role, you know. But uh, 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 I, uh, I, I, I enjoyed this. You know, this is my first time doing this. And I'm blaming acting. Or? acting oh, period, really? You know, well, yeah, on the stage. Right. But I'm blaming Sister Thorne for this because she got me oh, she, <laughs> back in Christmas. You up? Christmas time, we did a program here, and and then she asked me to come and help. And I thought, you know, maybe she'd forget about me. <laughs> and I'm taking it easy. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call. So, and I said I would. So I had to be a man of my word, you know. So, uh, 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 this is you know where I'm at, and uh, and I really enjoyed it. And the. The most of it, of this, everything out of this is that the people I've met met here. I mean, I enjoy, you know, and so I've got new friends. I got mm -hmm. new brothers and sisters. So that's the one important thing for me. But, but looking forward to doing the play and seeing how the play is 
rolling out. You know, I, I think it's going to be real great, and I hope everyone come down and and, and support it. And uh, brother Jackson uh, uh, is a good young. He's a good man, and I like uh, uh, working for him and everything. And I just think this is a great opportunity for people to see what's going on in the city too. You know. Okay, so, and, so. and you got other skills as well, right? You do a little singing. I I love to sing. I okay. mean, I just I'm just going to give God the praise and the glory and uh -huh. honor for allowing me to have breath in my body to give Him that praise. Right. And if I give, give uh, get the opportunity, I'm going to sing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> here's your opportunity because we're going to let him uh, go on over here and show what he got. Of life's ups and downs And God's been good to me And the downs have been few I can say that God has truly blessed me. See, there's never been a time in my life He didn't see me through. So If anyone should have, a right, should have a right, my life's story. For, for whatever reason. is there between this line of pain and glory I know I know I know that Jesus is the best thing he's the best thing that's ever happened my Savior Jesus he's the best, Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, if anyone would ever want to write,
He gave his life for me. He's the best thing that's ever happened. He's the best. Oh, my Savior Jesus, he's the best. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. He's the best. Oh, my redeemer. He's the best thing. Yes, he is. He's well, see, I was sinking He's deep in sin. Far from a peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within. I was seeking to rise no more. <laughs> But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry from the waters. He lifted me now, safe am I. Oh, Jesus is the best thing. My Savior, Jesus, he's the best thing. Yes, he is. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like him. Can't nobody do me like my Savior. He's my best friend. And now he walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I am his own. And the joys we share as we tarry there. No has ever known oh jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me thank you man that was a beautiful thing beautiful all right let's meet the children's of the show we'll go from the from the back there um, my name is Ejeria Caldwell. I played Chastity in the play. And I really hope you guys enjoy the play because I really feel like it's a good play and Mr. Cortez is a great director. Aww. Aww. Wait, wait, wait. I got, Peanut Butter got questions. Oh, <laughs> go ahead, Peanut Butter. Now, how do you, have you ever acted before or is this your first time? Um, this will actually be my first third time acting. Oh, okay. Um, I've acted in a, another play called Fences, Donna St. Clair. Um, I'm 11 years old. Okay. Just started school, right? Mm hmm Started Excited. school Monday. Excited about it? Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> All right, Jayla, Jayla. Yeah, before, before, you, before you run off from Okay. Me. You know, I'm glad to hear you that you did August Wilson play. I don't know if too many of you know August Wilson. He was a uh, big playwriter out of Pittsburgh, and he wrote uh, six plays. And matter of fact, I happened to be in one of his plays. I played uh, the numbers runner in a play called Jitney, and I play I did that in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and that ran for like 15 weeks. So I'm glad to hear to say that she was in this because I, I went out. Yeah, give her a round of applause. I went out for a role in Fences. I went out for the uh, the mentally retarded brother, but somebody beat me out. So what? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was made for you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jayla, what's up? Oh, and she also plays my my daughter in the play. Chastity. Right, right, yeah. She plays my daughter. Plays Junior. Yeah. Junior's daughter, who well, Junior's me. Junior's. But Junior's act right. Me. <laughs> but, okay. Hi, my name is Elegance Johnson, and I play Jayla in the play, and this is my second time doing this. And this is the second time doing the play? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a different experience than the first one. No. No? It's pretty much the same thing? Yeah. Peanut butter is probably better. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. She <laughs> said no comment. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Keep it moving. 
dig of inadmissibility. All right, Billy D. Here he Hello. Is. <laughs> Billy D, you got to stand up, bro. I'm so sorry. You just, you got, yeah, go on and step out. This is what it's talking about. <laughs> That's what style looks like. Testy. You got to come, come on in light. Come on, you got, you got the core. Yeah, there it is. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah hear yes, my name's Buddy, Buddy Baldwin, and I'm in the play. I feel good about it. It was a compliment and an honor for him to ask me to be in the play. Yeah. Now, this, you, of course, you, you've, no, you've never acted before, and like I haven't, right? No, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, now, are you, you nervous? You're excited about it? Uh, excited. A little bit of nervous, but yeah, excited. Right. I think it's going to be, I think we're going we're gonna to nail it. I feel we're we going to have a real good play. You're going to do it you know, the, the walk? It's going to be nice. I, what, let's leave something yeah, for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go See, far. cameraman can't even keep up with you. You have to draw out the picture. Come back, come, come back. Come this back. way. Yeah. Get him on, get him uh, on, get him on, a, get him on number the two. Get him on number two. There you go. There he is, four shot. Bring yeah. him down, bring him down. <laughs> All right, turn around, there he is. There you go, right there. Bam! That's what you want to look at. Bam! <laughs> I feel yeah. good about it. Playing uh, Come back Aaron in the play. And they got humor. They got the poorest man playing the richest man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can understand that. So, right, right. But uh, as it went on, yeah. I saw uh, my beautiful stage wife. It made it easier. All and, right. Uh, I thank Mr. Cortez for asking me because he could have asked anybody to do what I do or look like I look. Yeah. You know, so it was a compliment and an honor. Right, there you go. It's a blessing. Mr. Miss Red Carpet. <laughs> My name is Sonya Foster Wallace. I'm a second grade teacher in Zinia. Shout out to all the teachers. Shout I out. am honored to be in this play. Yeah, there you go. I am honored to be in this play. I'm a diva in the play. So I love that part because my nickname is Diva T. So hopefully I can portray that role like people say that I do. Wait, I got questions. <laughs> Peanut butter got questions. Peanut butter. <laughs> so you said you're a school teacher. Have you? You said you have or haven't acted before. This. I have never been in a stage play. I did a one-woman show at church um, uh, a couple years ago. Okay, but you got another skill, don't you? Don't you do something else a little bit on the side, little? Oh, I dance. There you go. Shout I dance, and uh, shout I'm out. a teacher, so I have to. Act every day in class, so I got a little <laughs> bit of talent. <laughs> so, and your dad, you do a. I do Chicago style stepping, okay. I ballroom, and I do a little bit of line dancing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward. Everybody come out and support us. It's going to be a fantastic play. Yep. All right, there you go. <laughs> That's my partner in crime. All right, Bodine. Yes, yeah, stand up so I can see you. All right. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Vincent Mormon, and I'm playing Bodine, uh, the <laughs> eldest son of Pop Green and Olivia Green. Right. Yep. Yes. And Peanut Butter's best friend. Partner in crime. Partner in crime. Right. Yeah. Skippy, man. <laughs> Skippy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm glad to be a part of this production. I really get the message of the play mm -hmm. and is, yeah. um, I really do believe that uh, this particular ensemble is going to do it justice yeah now you you're not a stranger to acting you tell us a little bit of your no I'm not right yeah uh, uh, initially I started out in the theater behind the scenes as a stage manager and uh, I really didn't start the acting part uh, till maybe 10, 15 years mm -hmm. ago. But I consider myself a performance artist yeah. anyway. So I oh, do yeah. a lot of spoken word. Um, I have a project that I'm working on. Um, where initially it was a one man show, I was gonna try to do it, but I've turned it into an ensemble piece. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we look forward to seeing that. Yeah. Who we got over there? Oh Lord, drama mama. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Cheryl Peaches Jeter Dixon, oh. and I'm thrilled to be Erica in this play, mm -hmm. and this is my husband of the play, but we won't talk about him right now, <laughs> and um, as everyone has said, this play is very relatable, and 
You just have to come and see it. And I'm sure that you can say, hey, that reminds me of so-and-so because it has reminded me of a lot of family members as well. So I'm thrilled to be a part of this and acting is um, one of my passions. I majored in show business at Central State uh, Business Administration and Theater. Recently performed in the movie The Prodigal Wife as Faith and then prior to that I was Faith in the uh, Pleading My Case play here in Dayton as well. So everybody I'm just excited and thrilled that we have this opportunity and god bless you all and any questions you peanut all my butter? Questions. you are asking them all <laughs> <laughs> so thank you new member yeah. <laughs> yes my name is uh daryl logan and i'll be playing edward green uh this is my first time doing this uh i did uh have a little small part in a play back when I was in the second grade. Okay, okay. That, that counts. I uh, played counts. a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember my lines. Do, you, do it, do it. <laughs> Mr. Turkey Lurkey, please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. That's about it for me. You got well, any questions? You, uh, you, I mean, you literally just joined the cast like last week yes uh, so my, did that i mean <laughs> who put who pushed you into this one my aunt jean uh <laughs> jean thornton suggested that uh that i get up there and give it a try so i'm looking forward to that all right yeah well, we're glad to have you man real yeah. real talk <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's everybody going, doing? Uh, my name is Alberto Chuku Cooper. Um, Thank not, you for, woo, because I didn't need one. Yeah, even. you know, that's that's a hard one for a lot of pe- uh, people to really say. It's a Swahili name. Um, my people come from the Igbo people. So um, I usually tell people, uh, when you say my name, think of uh, picking up a berry and chewing it. And then uh, the last part, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? So <laughs> Alberto nice. Chuku, that's how you get it. So, yeah. Um, I'm an actor and a sci-fi writer of a series called Ashardra, and um, this play I am playing Junior, um, which is uh, one of the children in the Green family that's uh, coming back and uh, really trying to uh, deal with some issues. So uh, um, it's a real pleasure to uh, have a place in this play, and uh, I'm around a lot of talented actors and actresses and I mean everybody's just so great you know I love dating actors because I mean that they're so talented you know like they're in Hollywood but it's just like they have this persona like it's just you know somebody that you see at Kroger's on the Berg every day or you know on Siebenthaler I mean you just run up and just talk to them so I'm, I'm really really grateful to be in Cortez Jr. Jackson's play this is awesome okay now who are you playing um, I'm playing Junior you you are you are Cortez. You are Cortez. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I, I um, reading into the story. I, I caught that. Yeah. How you how you how you feel about that? I mean, he, um, he, he's right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, is there pressure? <laughs> yeah. It is, you know what? It is some pressure. Um, you know, because I would talk to him back and forth. Um, you know, really trying to get the the just of the character. Um, it, like initially. I was Edward, and then you know he said, "Listen, man, I want you to change up yeah. and, and be Junior." So I had to like grow this beard and look like the older brother, which is like difficult for me because I'm like a five o'clock shadow guy. Right. I, yeah. You know, I don't yeah. really don't dig the beards. Well, My you, wife I mean, loves it. You fit it, the part. Uh, I mean, you look exactly <laughs> like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Junior, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty <laughs> pretty cool part. Um, yeah. I like the emotional range yeah, that, that the character and has. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing, that, that range that I've I seen you, that you have when it comes to it, because I've seen this play from, from last year, watching the DVD, and, and uh, he, he nailed it. So you, you, you got some work to do, brother. Yeah, yeah, I love the range and of the that, character, yeah. you know, like, you know, how he's, like, up and down, and, you know, I mean, yeah. he's, like, gets fierce, right. and then he's he, calm, yeah. and, you know, I, I, I like that. Can't you know? wait to see it. You guys you definitely want to come out and check him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Mama, Mama Green. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Greer, and like you said, I am playing Olivia, which is Mama Green. And <laughs> it's a bit challenging, but 
I think everything will turn out fine. We have a wonderful cast, and I think things will go well. Now, this your first time acting, or are you? No, I've been in quite a few plays okay. at the church, so, yeah, so I've say, done quite a few. Have they say not your first rodeo? Not my first rodeo, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we look for it. And then uh, your, your other half over here is... Uh, yes, that's my husband, Pastor Greer. Yeah. <laughs> and he has helped out tremendously. He's, yeah, he's helped, yeah. Yes, he's he all the way around. We, we thank him for, for what he does and is doing yes <laughs> pop green what's up looking all dapper yes i'm um, glad to be here My name is ronnie copeland i play pop green which is libba's husband father of four grandfather and just like a peaceful household my children are going a little bit out of whack i think the play is going to be very funny um this is my first religious comedy or drama i would say but it's quite interesting different flavor but I think it's going to come through the screen all right. Um, you said, have you acted before? You? Yes, I've, I've had a little experience here the last five years or so, yes. Okay, well, I mean, are they plays or movies? Oh, or just give it, no, 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 give, no. Give, give, I, well, give, I did have a movie offered, but I wouldn't take it because it was a um, horror film, and I don't do horror films. Oh, okay. I don't even watch horror films. But um, a few of the cast members here and myself, we just came back from... Um, Columbus, Ohio, we did the um, Columbus Black Theater Festival in Columbus about um, about four weeks ago, four to five weeks ago. Okay. And um, just like being on the stage, giving people something to relate with. Right, yeah. That's, I think that's what they're going to get out of this movie is uh, how it, uh, whatever aspect or whatever you see it. It's going to touch somebody in some way. Which oh, is it's, what it's I... impossible for it not to touch. Right, right. I get it. I'm getting excited about it already. Yeah, I think your character is very interesting. <laughs> I don't, you know, to be 29, uh, it, you do a fantastic job. <laughs> I just want you to know that, Barry. You look every bit of it, too. <laughs> you know. I'm working. I'm still working on it. You know, oh, man, that Grecian gray. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you, man. All right, you're more than and welcome. The, and the lady in charge that started it all, Grandma. <laughs> Hi, I am Charlotte Harris, and I play Grandma, because I know everything. <laughs> uh, I um, love to perform. I am originally from Washington, D.C., okay. and uh, I was an English teacher, and I, too, think of teaching as performing. Um, but I w was with the Capitol Hill Arts Workshop. I dance. I taught dance. I had a dance school with a friend who first moved here, and that's wh why I ended up in Dayton. Um, we did musicals, plays, musical reviews, and I loved it. And um, I uh, recently retired from Wright State University as Dean of the College of Education and Human Services, and I wanted to get back into community theater. And this was the first opportunity that came along. In fact, even before retirement, uh, Wilma announced in our ballroom dance class that, the, that there were auditions. And I went to the auditions, and I played Grandma in the play two years ago. And, uh, and definitely started my retirement journey where I wanted to be. Since then, I've been in the movie, the same movie that um, Cheryl mentioned, okay. The Prodigal Wife. I also played an angel. I played love. And I was also in w One Sunday in Birmingham, which was the play that was done in Columbus at the mm -hmm. Black Theater Festival, and now being grandma again. And I just love to perform. Okay. Now, and I asked uh, uh, Jayla back there, is there a difference between, I mean, I'm sure there is a difference between the two, two shows. Do um, you feel a, a difference in this show compared to the, to well, the I mean, first show? Essentially, it's the, you know, it's the same play, but there have been some adjustments, right. uh, you know, just based on, on who the characters are right. and, um, and so, but essentially, I see it as the same play. Okay. Um, actually, Jayla and I were the only ones in this 
in the current cast who was in who the was cast in, the last one? In, in, in two years ago. But um, yeah, I'm looking okay. forward to doing it yeah, again. We're, we're really excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, Cortez, we're back at you, brother. You're back at me, huh? okay. <laughs> Well, let me just let me let me just start by saying that um, I want to go around and kind of give you a, a, a little piece of the history of the cast. Um, let me start off with my grand with my grandmother. Uh, my grandmother was a very loving and caring individual. She was the one that told me when everybody else told me that I wasn't going to be anything. She was the one that told me that. Keep your head up, and you can be anything you want to be. So that's why I wrote this play about her. Mama Green, she plays the role of my mother. Me and my mother had never had a loving, loving relationship, but I do love my mother. But all we did was argue from the time I can remember until now. Uh, I'm her firstborn. I was born in October. She was born in October. I was born on the 1st of October. She was born on the 2nd of October. Mm -hmm. So we are so much alike. Mm -hmm. Pop Green, he plays, the, the gentleman that's playing Pop Green, that was my stepfather. My stepfather was one of the most caringest men that I could ever know. He started with me when I was a little boy. Um, he cared for me, and he's no longer here, but, uh, you know, I, I loved him dearly. He always worried about me. No matter where I went or how long I've been gone, he always asked somebody to tell me to call him. So that was, that was Pop Green. Uh, the gentleman that's playing me, um, he has a he, he has a he has a job on his hand when he comes to his mother. He has a job on his hands, and if he follow the script right, he's gonna nail it because it's a uh, it's some good and some bad in there. Mm -hmm. um, Bodine, the gentleman playing Bodine, he plays my 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 uh, my second oldest brother. Uh, he's no longer here, neither he. He got murdered some years ago, many, many years ago. But my, he, he was the type, like I said, he was the brother that always figured out a way to make money. I mean, he, he, was, he was terrific, you know. Uh, and I do miss him. And when he plays him, I think about him. And the gentleman that's playing, um, the younger brother, Edward. Now, <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was, he's no longer here neither. Uh, I remember when we were younger, he used to follow me around all the time. And, um, you know, I miss him too. So, when I see them playing those parts, it makes me think about him. The young lady that's playing Chastity, who's Junior's daughter, um, she has a, a, a saying in the play that I remember my daughter said it to me. So, and I'm sure some people that went through some stuff that are going through some stuff with their mm -hmm. daughters, uh, you'll say the same thing. I remember my daughter said that to me. Uh, Jalen, I had a I had an illegitimate child out of wedlock that nobody knew about. It was a long time before they found out about that child. So, um, you're going to see some good stuff there. Nosy Shirley. Nosy Shirley is really the role of my mother. Because, I mean, she was the type of person, she knew everything. And everybody's and business. Ain't no, ain't everybody <laughs> business. You know, but she, she, was, she, she meant well. She meant well, you know. Um, and the young lady playing her. I was watching her and she just reminded me of her. <laughs> and you, you're gonna see some action in that one. The, the young lady playing my auntie. Now originally, you know, they was, the auntie wasn't there, but I am so glad the young lady playing my aunt because she reminds me of my aunt. You know, she was the one that, she was like my grandmother. 
She was always on my side. She's still on my side, even though, you know, she, when I call her, I call her at least maybe twice a month. And she is so glad to hear my voice. You know, she's not able to get around like she used to. But, you know, she always talk about me. Um, Pastor, get it right. Mm -hmm. The reason Pastor why, I guess right. everybody's probably saying he thought the same thing. Why in the world do they want to call me Pastor Get It Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, because he reminded me of myself in a sense, because I remember when I tried to start a church <laughs> in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I mean, I, I did everything in the world, but it wasn't my calling. But the man that's playing this, he's a terrific brother. I met him in my church. And if he just follows what I'm looking for, I'm telling you, he's gonna knock this out of the ballpark. So y'all, y'all wait till you hear him sing. Amen. You know, he, he mm -hmm. is terrific. I really love him. I, I remember when I first met him at my church and I knew he had to play the role of pastor. <laughs> I knew he had to play that role. Uh, and my dad, the, the man that's playing Johnny. Mm. See, my father was, my father was there, but he wasn't there, you know. And it was just who he was. It was just the men in our family, you know. I mean, I wasn't no better than what my father was. Mm -hmm. Everything my father did, I ended up doing the same thing, you know, so. But the young man that's playing him, he's playing my father to a T. Only thing my father couldn't do was sing. <laughs> But he could play the he could play the trumpet. Uh -huh. He learned from um um what's the what's the the guy uh, out of New York trumpet player good trumpet player um not um no he was married to um, Cicely Tyson one time Miles Davis my Miles Davis taught my father how to play the wow. trumpet and all he wanted from my father was to learn how to box. My father was a fighter. You know, so my father taught him how to box. He taught my dad how to play the trumpet. So, um, Miss Wilma Thornton, what can I say about her? You know, I'm, I, I, I'm part of her church. I'm not a member, but I feel like a member. I've been going to her church with Pastor Thornton for ever since the day that I met him. And I'm gonna tell you, she is the most loving, helpful person that I could have ever met. I gotta be careful because I get teary-eyed. <laughs> um, but, it, it, you know, she's, if she wasn't hooked up with Pastor Thornton and stuff. Did you really cut that way? He already told me to stay away from my woman. <laughs> but, you know, but seriously, right. she is, she is, she is the most helpful, down-to-earth person that you could ever meet. She gets on me, and sometimes I, I have to line. explain. I have to explain certain things because there's a difference, you know. Because I mean, I've been in theater since 1976, between my modeling and acting. I've been into this thing for a long time, and some things is is different you know, um, compared to people that are not theater, you know, and trying to explain it, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. But she always tell me, let God, let go, let God. Mm -hmm. Let go, let God, and I, and I do. I really do, because I'm gonna tell you, I'm a lot better person than the one that I was two years ago. <laughs> they, they, they couldn't stand me, but see, the thing about it is, I love what I do. And I want you to love what I do. And see, I want you, I want people to look at you and say, man, they played that. You know, and that's, that's, what, that's all I ever asked for. So not only are we gonna do this, I'm also looking to do this woman Thornton's mother's book. So y'all got some work. I don't think this is the only thing y'all got. This ain't, this ain't it. We got, we got some stuff to do. So, and I hope that y'all decide to wanna hang around Hang in there, have patience. I don't know how much time I got, but I'm gonna give you all the time that I have. And that's what I wanted to say about the cast. You oh, peanut butter. butter, and I forgot about my man. You forgot your red carpet. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. Oh, well, wait, wait a minute, you right, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it's so many, you know, it's just so many, because a lot of, it's really, a lot of plays don't have this big ensemble, oh, this is a musical. And we're not a musical, but we do have singing. I can't do but, <laughs> but Peanut Butter, him and my brother were real good friends. And uh, the gentleman that's playing Peanut Butter, it's, it's, it was a true Peanut Butter. I, really, it was a real guy named Peanut Butter. You know, he used to get mad when we didn't call him Peanut Butter. When somebody <laughs> called him Peanut, he'll let you know right off the bat. My name is Peanut Butter. <laughs> <laughs> and in the back, my, I did mention my brother though, because he played both mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't talk about my diva sister. <laughs> and this is a true diva sister. If you ever meet my sister Nora, is that right there? I'm telling you the red <laughs> carpet thing, when she showed y'all that red carpet move, my sister was just like that. <laughs> you know, and um, her husband, he wasn't a millionaire, but he did have a little bit of money. You know, he's no longer on this earth neither, but, uh, and my sister was, we call her, we used to call her Cassius Clay, cause uh, she would, look, I couldn't fight nobody without her getting in, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but see, the diva in her, I mean, she still got the diva today. If you ever meet her, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The diva in her, you know, she, she means well. And, um, you know, um, so everybody that I spoke about, and, and Erica. Erica. Now I'm gonna tell you, I guess y'all probably say, well where do Erica come into this? Well, Erica really was my wife. <laughs> you know. Um, <coughs> but see, I, I put her with my little brother. You know, I was actually the only one that actually got married out of, out of the men. And, you know, what you see her do is what my wife did because I was a dog. I wasn't no good. So have you seen you see my younger brother do this place? You know, he's living the part. Because it was me. I, I'm not gonna lie, it was me. You know, but I thank God that he, you know, uh he seen fit to allow me to put this thing together mm -hmm. with this great ensemble that I have. And uh it's gonna be a good play. You're gonna really enjoy it. Pastor Greer. Well, we talk about Pastor Greer, isn't it? Well, let, well, let me say, okay, Pastor Greer. That, that's, 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 look, thank you. Thank God for you, really. Because it ain't been nothing that, only thing that he won't do is take a part in the play. <laughs> exactly, he'll, 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 he'll go all he'll around read, it, yeah. He'll read a part, but he ain't taking a part. But he did accept the, the role as the MC for the play, and I thank God for him. But like I keep trying to, and I, I heard somebody say uh, religious. This is not a religious play, everybody. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. But it's not religious. There's a difference, you, you, you know, between um, but being a Christian play, mm -hmm. okay? It's a spiritual play because it's what we went through in our life. You know, thank God that God came into all our lives. But I just don't want people to get the misconception, you know, of saying this spit is a religious play, you know, because yes, God is in it, okay? But we don't, dress, we don't dress as, you know, them and all that. It's, you know, so I just want, I, I gotta keep it right. I gotta keep it real, you know? I want people to understand. I don't want nobody come in saying, well, I thought you said it was a gospel play. No, it's not a gospel play. It's a true to life play about family life. Family Ups drama. and downs in family lives, you know. And grandma and, bringing them back together. Thank you. Between her and get it right. Because when he does, what, if he does what I want him to do at the end, and I got a DVD for you too. If he does what I want, I'm going to tell you, it's going to knock the audience inspired, off their feet. Yeah. It's going to knock them off their feet. So That's what I wanted to say about my cast. Um, I guess I took up a little bit of time with that. That's all right. It was only the way I could explain it. So September the 15th, Dayton Convention Center. Oh, also we have um, as our opening act, Heavens Unlimited. If you have not seen these young ladies sing, you are in for a treat. They are gonna look, they gonna get us ready. They are right. gonna get us ready, okay? Um, what the, time should they be there? Uh, the, the vendors start, we do have vendors. Vendors start at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
three to close it. We also, um, the doors open at four. The um, Heavens Unlimited goes on at 4.30 for 20 minutes. Now, and this is very, very important. So please, if you're watching this program, please get it right. Because I don't want you to be embarrassed. The lights go off at 5 o'clock. <coughs> if you are not in your seat at 5 o'clock, you will not get in the theater until intermission. So please, and I do have security. So it ain't gonna be no kind of nonsense. But I'm just being honest. I, I, and I need to say this because, right, you know, yeah, people need to understand and people need to know. Five the, the seats are numbered, okay? All the seats are numbered. So you can't come in there with your cell phone, with your flashlight, talking about trying to find a seat. <laughs> so that means you gotta be in there when the lights, you know, in your seat. So hopefully, by then, everybody will be in their right. seat anyway, enjoying the uh, Heavens Unlimited. Mm -hmm. And we do have some treats for the intermission. So we got some things planned for y'all. So September the 15th, Dayton Convention Center. And where do they get tickets? They, well, you can call Make a Star Production at 937-401-0585 or see any of these beautiful cast members. They all got tickets, but the VIP tickets are sold out. They gone. But also, there are no bad seats in the place. No bad seats in the place. So just because you ain't in the first five rows, trust me, you'll be able to enjoy the show anyway. So that's uh, September the 15th, Date Convention Center. Thank you guys for watching Everything Dayton. Uh, thank my, my cast and my f new friends for coming on my show. This is my second one, so I think I did pretty good. Let's see. Thank you, guys.